Welcome to today's Farm Life. I'm Doug Cunningham. Standing in a hemp field just south of Mount Vernon, South Dakota, a couple of interesting points about this particular hemp field. First of all, it was the very first hemp field on record to be planted legally in the state of South Dakota. Number two, it happens to belong to South Dakota State Senator Josh Klum. Had an interesting conversation with Josh about how it was to get started in the hemp business. We planted this field, it's about seven acres um, on May 19th. This was our cow yard. We, we sold out of the cattle and we put this on it just as a trial because if, it, if we didn't do anything with it, it would grow up to weeds really bad. It's a cow yard. And so we put this on here and we haven't touched it since May 19th. Um, you'll see in the compacted areas, it doesn't grow as good. The weeds kind of took over. As you look out across the seven acres, it's really outgrown the weeds and it's really suppressed them. And so it was part of a trial. We did seven acres so we could um, basically afford to lose it if we needed to. It's, it, the inputs weren't that much. Um, all we did, all we had for input costs was the seed right now. And we'll, we'll see what comes out of it at the end. We're, we're hoping for a thousand pounds of grain off this, uh, per acre, off of these seven acres. This, the seed is, it's hard to, it's, it's not terribly big. Um, it's a lot smaller. It's probably a little bit larger than a mustard seed, really. So it's small and so, and when you look at the charts and how we set the drill, there was no, there was no hemp seed on the, on the chart. So we kind of guessed. And when we got done, turns out we put on, we were aiming for 20 pounds an acre. We probably put on closer to 30. So this was planted real heavy. And so it looks really good right now. But that's what we were coached on is about 20 pounds an acre is what we we're shooting for. Um, so it's, it's planted really thick. It's, it's really difficult to walk through as you try to go through it. Um, I really have personally even gone into it more than 10 feet myself. Um, we'll combine it at 30% moisture roughly, and we'll have to screen it because there'll be a lot of foreign matter in it when we do combine it. Um, we'll have to screen it and we'll have to put it on air within one to two hours after harvesting. We'll have to get air on it because what we're growing here is seed for human consumption, um, grain for human consumption. So they're one of the first crops we've grown here that won't pass through an animal before it hits our dinner plate, so to speak. Um, so we'll grow it for that. So because of that, we can't let it spoil. Any spoilage would, would ruin the whole batch. So we'll combine it, 30% moisture, get it on air, dry it down to 9%, and then from there we'll be able to market it. Now, according to Klum, they planted this particular field on some what he called marginal acres, uh, and it's done quite well. He's learned a lot along the way, but he has some good advice for someone that might be thinking about getting into the hemp business. So we, we purchased our seed from Horizon Hemp Seed up by Willow Lake and um, we contracted with them to buy our grain back at the same time. So it's something I've said from the beginning back in the, the legislative process of all this, don't buy your seed, don't try this until you know where you're going to go with your product. And so that's what we've done. We have a contract for this grain for, for the sale already. And then from there, I under, as I understand it, they'll take it, dehaul it, and then take it to Glamby Nutritionals in Sioux Falls who process cereals out of it. Don't, don't do it until you know you have an outlet for it, you know, before you, before you have some place to go with your, your and in this case, just the grain. The, the fiber portion of the plant, which will be the leftover after we harvest, um, there is no place to go with that at this time. But we plan on um, cutting it down, drying it out, and then we'll bale it up and we have storage space and we'll sit on it for a while. According to Klum, the hemp business is underway in the state of South Dakota. But when the legislature goes back to work in January, he says that they might have to sit down and have some interesting conversations about tweaking the system just a little bit. Well, I'm sure there'll be talk in the future. Right now, I don't have a whole lot of things. You know, you have to get background checked and fingerprinted, and that was a little bit onerous for my family, but it all worked out. Um, they only look back 10 years in your background after they do your FBI background check. So in a lot of cases, we've seen generational farms who the land might be owned by grandpa or even great grandpa. Um, they're pushing 80, 90 years old. And if they're only gonna look back 10 years, well, they probably weren't doing illegal drug sales at that time, because that's what they're looking for, if you have that in your background. So maybe we need to look at how far back, I mean, maybe if once you reach a certain age, they don't have to look back, just conversations to have. I understand the need to do it, to weed out um, people who might try to take advantage of this program. and ruin it for the rest of us, so I'm okay with it, but those are some tweaks that we could probably see in that area. As far as other um, changes legislatively, I don't have any, but I'm sure other growers around the states might see something different as we go through this process. So, you know, you want to be able to recoup your costs. You know, when we had, when we start, you have a, you have the initial application fee, 
but then when you get approved, then you have a $500 application or license fee. And that's gonna be an annual fee is $500. Maybe that's something else that changes in the future. But right now the plan is, and the hope is, is to make this program self-sustaining. So we don't have to give taxpayer dollars to make this program work. As long as there has to be oversight and stuff though, there's gonna to have to be some funding behind it. Well, it looks like the hemp business in South Dakota is underway. Remember, feel good about what you do today because what you do today is very important. Until next time, for today's Farm Life, I'm Doug Cunningham.